I'll preface this by saying my approach to paranormal things in life is to be open-minded until proven otherwise. So for full disclosure, I do believe in almost everything paranormal. But I've never actually seen anything worth noting myself, other than when maybe we saw a Bigfoot in Oregon back in 2012. But I was pretty far away, and it could have just been a distant bear or even a tree. Anyway, I am a single dad. My son was born in 2010. I like to think of myself as a very dedicated father. He is by far and always the best thing in my life ever. And as such, where he's involved, my memories are usually clear and more profound. Since the first time he ever slept in a bed with me, I can recall odd things happening during sleep. And it's every time that he sleeps in bed with me. Noises, blurry visions, and I wake up from such noises. A window or a door open that I knew was closed. A nightlight unplugged and on the floor. Stuff like that. Well, yesterday, he was sick, and I let him sleep with me in my bed last night. I recently switched to overnight shifts at work. So, when I'm off now, I've become a very light sleeper during normal sleep hours. The last thing I remember before dozing off was that my son had kicked off his blankets. He prefers to sleep that way, and I think this detail may be important, and that his pillow had kind of shifted towards the headboard, and his head wasn't on the pillow at all. This morning, a little before four, I awoke to a noise, only this time, I actually saw something. As I sat up, I noticed my bedroom door is open, and I never leave it open. As I'm noticing this, my focus becomes clearer, and I swear that along the door frame, I can see four very long fingers, not claws, fingers. As I moved to get out of bed, the hand moved away, and I see what I can only describe as a fleeing tail. As soon as I get to my door and look into the next room, there is nothing. I searched everywhere, nothing still. All doors were locked, as were the windows. When I go back to check on my son, the pillow is back perfectly under his head. The blankets were pulled up onto him, and the fever he had had broken. He was sleeping peacefully. I have never, including this morning, felt threatened by what I have seen or heard. In contrast, I've probably felt more at ease than I should have in this situation. A couple of notes. I've always had and still do have dogs, who sleep in the room with me. They never even barked or growled. I do have a history of sleep paralysis, though I can always tell when it's been an episode, just by how terrifying they are. I don't think this is what the situation was. And finally, I don't drink at all, and if I ever do anything, it's maybe smoke a joint when I go camping with my high school buddies. The question is, should I be concerned? Are there such things as sweet cryptids that watch over your children? Does this sound like something any of you have heard? Or is this some sort of subconscious thing I'm experiencing? Any information would be valued. I've worked the night shift for a long time. One of the scariest experiences I had was when I worked at an abandoned factory. Now, apparently, the owners of the factory were waiting for some permissions to tear it down and build something new on the land. But in the meantime, it had to be protected. The job itself was simple enough and not very creepy, as we hardly ever had to go into the building, 
we simply had to patrol the perimeter and ensure that no doors had been opened and that no one was about. Now, something that was always a bit of an inconvenience was the fact that the toilet was about a five minute walk from my station. But I am a guy and the station boarded woods, woods that extended for miles. So oftentimes, assuming all I needed to do was a whiz, I'd just go and do my business in the woods. It's not like anyone was around to see what I was doing. Anyway, on to the story. It was your typical night, and I believe it was sometime around 4am. I was just scrolling through Reddit on my phone, seeing if I can read anything interesting, perhaps immerse myself in a spooky story. When nature's call urged me to get up, and I approached the tree line, a way I had done hundreds of times. I always carry my flashlight, but the light from the small hut was enough so that I could just walk out into the darkness and do my business quickly and privately. However, upon reaching the tree line did I hear something. Now it isn't the first time I've heard something. Most of the times it's just an animal moving around in the brush. So I ignored it as I did my business. As I'm just zipping myself up and turning around to leave, do I notice something in the tree line? Eyes. At least, I think it's eyes. I hear twigs cracking from underneath the weight of whatever this thing is, and I stare at it blankly for a moment. I whip out my flashlight and shine it directly at this thing. I don't even know what it was, but it was about eight feet tall, brown fur, standing on two legs, and it was just watching me. The moment the flashlight hit it though, it covered its eyes and ran back into the tree line. I noped out of there and back into my station, locked the door, and occasionally would peep out the window to make sure it wasn't looking at me, after of course, switching off all the lights. I waited in the dark listening, and didn't do any more of my rounds until daylight. I quit after that. No way did I want to encounter no that thing again. No I was there for a while, so I feel myself lucky to not have encountered it sooner. It must have been 20 years ago, when my brother-in-law saw what we can only describe as a lizard or reptile man. This happened in the mountain towns of Xochimilco, Mexico City. I remember it was the time when he was still dating my sister. And one night after hanging out with her at our place, he went back home. I recall it was a few minutes past 11 and he used to drive a Volkswagen Beetle. And that night, he headed uphill for San Francisco where he lived. He had to take a road surrounded by trees, pine trees. To his left side was the hill and he told us that when he got around the curve, he reached a dark, rocky place. The rocks were huge and it was pitch black. He was driving very fast, as he was used to, and so he turned on his high beam headlights. After doing it, he could see some movement from the corner of his eye, and within a few seconds, right in front of him, he saw a huge creature crossing the road in just two steps which immediately reached the other side of the road, where a tall wall made out of stone was built. He couldn't say if the creature went through the wall, jumped over it, or went down some kind of ditch, but the animal disappeared. He only remembers that it was pretty tall with a humanoid form, two arms, two legs, a head, but had a tail. He said, that if it had been someone in a costume, he would have dragged his tail. But he recalls that it never touched the ground. Instead of a mouth, it had a turtle-like beak. And since he had his high beams on, he could see it very clearly and described the skin as greyish. 
I used to make fun of him for saying he'd been smoking too much weed or something. But later on, we found out that other people living nearby had also seen it. That was just about the time when two of my dogs went missing. One day one of them got lost while we were walking in those woods. He was walking ahead of me, and went out of sight while running downhill. I heard him whimper once, and never saw him again. When I heard it, I ran to the place I thought he had gone to, but I couldn't find him. There were houses down the hill where some dogs lived, but I never heard them bark or anything had passed by. I looked for him everywhere on several occasions. He wasn't hit by a car, and I have no clue what happened to that dog. Those were the times when we had no idea why the army used to go up into the mountains very frequently and wouldn't let anyone else in. They were supposedly training, and a lot of soldiers camped there. And every week, new soldiers would arrive to replace the ones from the past week. We thought it was a strange coincidence. And so that's what happened. A lot of people have claimed to seeing this creature, although I never saw it. Nonetheless, whenever I went into the hills, I had this strange and weird feeling of being watched.